Focus. Ideate. Innovate. Enable. Hello and welcome to a brand new episode of Tata Docomo presents Do Big Ride the Digital Wave powered by CNBC TV 18. Now through this series we travel across the nation to bring you examples of companies that are paving the way forward in their industries in terms of digital and growth strategies and who have embraced the wave of digital disruption. On the last episode we took a look at leading global IT consulting and services firm GGK and a flourishing startup enterprise communications company Crux Digital. Today we shift focus to a specialist in business business process outsourcing services and a booming internet-based travel company. Here are the stories of PaddlePoint and Musafir.com. In today's competitive environment, to retain and increase a company's customer base, call centers have become an essential interface. But some of the challenges faced are escalating operational costs, turnover and the quest for total customer satisfaction. Enter PaddlePoint, a leading business process outsourcing company that provides customized business process management solutions across key industries and verticals. We started back in 2010 and we only had like 20 people in a very small office. Uh, so it was a very small startup and a new uh, beginning of a business but uh, we try to uh, you know we gave our full dedication full full efforts and today we have reached to a level where uh, we just keep following uh, our basics and we keep growing and multiplying our agents we we cater to domestic clients in india uh, a lot of domestic uh, good brands are uh, you know attached with us and we are working with them and in international, we are uh, focusing only in U.S. clients, and uh, those are all healthcare-related uh, pharmacies and DMEs in U.S. which we cater to. And basically, we are uh, doing lead generation for the people who are above the age of 65 in U.S. and we help them get their uh, medical products. Mission is to uh, keep uh, multiplying and keep uh, growing. Uh, uh, my vision is to reach at least 2,000 uh, employees and. Uh, at least have a three floors name my company. What we believe is to deliver the best to the customer. How do we do it? The way we do it is uh, providing a value-added services to our customers, not only value-added services, considering the current uh, disruption and current competition what you face, uh, providing the best solution at the lowest possible rate, which no competitor of us can meet. Okay, matches. Secondly, <coughs> what uh, we're looking forward to is high productivity, accuracy, Quality, and that is what Paddle Point stands for. After six years of being in the business, Paddle Point has evolved into a multi channel contact center to meet the growing demands and expectations of today's consumers. A primary contributor to their success is their innovative digital and technology strategy. What we believe in Paddle Point is continuity of the services and un uninterrupted services uh, at all times because that, that's very vital in the service industry. Okay, So we always have to have a BCP plan. We try different telecom providers uh, and who are masters uh, currently. But unfortunately, we did have some issues like call drops, internet lease lines getting disconnected and uh, uh, hampering our business, hampering our day-to-day -day operations. Okay, so. Uh, luckily, we did, uh, did try Tata and uh, so far everything works smooth. I cannot uh, stand downtime. I mean one minute or 15 minutes of downtime is uh, something which, which you know shoots up my blood pressure because I don't like to answer my client that you know my, my systems are down, my internet is down or my uh, VoIP provider is down. So since the time we are working with Tata, I think uh, that's the least I have uh, experienced about the downtime. And talking about the growth, we we had days when we, uh, you know, we I was the one who used to be a team leader, who used to be a QA, who used to be a manager, but uh, today we have the best of them working in my team. So that's how, if we talk about the growth, from, from that level we have reached to this level. Despite the vast number of competing companies across the world, Paddle Point has cracked the key to staying ahead of the curve. Competition, I'll say that any person, uh, we are entire call centers, not only in India, but across the globe, are our competitors. Okay? How you move forward, how you try to go ahead and help your customers. Understanding customers' industry is a vital part uh, to reach the customers. Providing the right solution 
uh, you have uh, first call right resolution wherein the customer or the client need not call back again. So uh, this is all possible with uh, the services, the internet lease line, the IP services, uh, the toll free numbers. We are planning to grow around 500 people. So yes, m more and more customers uh, coming on board and we are here to serve everyone. That was the story of Paddle Point. But don't go anywhere because on the other side of the break, we uncover the success story behind Musafir.com, a leading online travel portal. Stay tuned. Welcome back. You're watching Tata Docomo presents Do Big, Ride the Digital Wave, powered by CNBC TV 18. Now, this next company was established in the Middle East in 2007, and after a quick ascension to the top in their industry, they expanded to India in 2010. Here's the story of Musafir.com. Their company name literally means traveller and the travel and tourism industry is one that Musafir.com has conquered in India and beyond. Musafir.com is a popular online travel portal that is driven by the vision of uniting smart technology with customer satisfaction. Musafir.com offers flight tickets and bookings to over 3,000 destinations, hotel stays in over 85,000 properties around the world and endless holiday experiences. Affordable prices, exceptional customer service and the benefit of easy travel bookings are some of the advantages Musafir.com offers, all enabled by an advanced digital strategy. So Musafir is an online travel company and um, what we do is we, we offer customers options for travel and the whole idea is about making, um, making more choices to the customer, making it uh, more user friendly to the customer, making bringing uh, you know, uh, travel available to him on his um, web or on his mobile. So it's giving them more options and easier options to book travel. Okay. India is a growing market. It's growing at what, over 25%. I think there's a lot of travel that's happening in India and that's growing, I think. So the mission is to be a, a full-fledged premium online travel company here in India and make sure all travel services are available to travelers under one roof. Uh, whether it be it is mobile or it is web. So it's just a premium travel services company. So we started about 12 years ago in uh, UAE and um, it's been about three years for us in here in India. And we have uh, over 400 employees both in UAE and India put together and that's growing. So we're estimating that to go up to 600 by the end of this year because we've got very fairly aggressive plans for India as well as Saudi Arabia. In India, we have uh, over uh, less than a million customers who transacted with us. And um, in UAE, it's a little strange. We, we, we have an offline retail presence. We have about 14 offices. Uh, we are present uh, in the corporate travel segment. We have a corporate booking tool. So we cater to the on, uh, corporate travel segment as well. And then about, it's been a year since we've started the online retail as well. So UAE has been a fairly established and you know, we're doing various things in UAE. We have a combined turnover of over 700 crores. Talking about retail customer, I, I think anybody who needs help in planning a travel, right? That's where we come into place. So we have we have built a team here who helps people plan. Where, where do you? Where is the right destination for you to go? With your family in summer, in winter, and which is the best place to stay in? Which airlines can get you a best rate? So everything from planning a travel, you know. A complete suite, whether it's insurance or you know, it's the foreign currency. So we focus on all that aspects, and our focus is on customers who need that little bit of handholding when it comes to booking their travel. And in corporate, I mean, we, what we've done is we've actually built in a corporate booking tool. You know, it's called Musafir for Business. What it allows, it's a self-booking tool which uh, which we believe helps uh, a corporate cut down about 60% of his booking time and save, gives him a lot of saving. We've seen the corporates who are using MB save up to 20% of their travel. So it's a complete booking, a corporate booking tool which has a lot of MIS and stuff built in it, savings reports, a lot of reports. So, and, and that's something which you've aggressively pushed in the UAE market and that's something which we are launching in India soon. Any online booking company ideally would be a competitor for us but actually we our the strategy here at Musafir is we actually don't fo uh, focus on competition. Our focus is on the consumer, right? How, you know, and, and we all know that it's very easy to acquire a customer, right? Today with the digital, in the digital age, 
there's so much of technology there's so much of um, i mean social media there's so much there are so many ways to win a customer so i think the challenge for us is not to win customers the challenge is to retain those customers so our focus whether it's technology whether it's people whether it's training process our focus is always about retaining that customers so we I, so for us the challenge is how do i you know make sure that this customer who booked a holiday from me comes back and books a flight from us so how do how do i send him the message how how much comfort do i give him uh, on his holiday you know how do i make sure the whole experience is great and then we follow it up with a feedback call so that so for us competition is internal how we improve on our technology how we improve on our process how we get more of our customers to come back and book with the, book with us so what are some of the digital enablers that musafir.com uses to help them be the best in the industry being an online travel company i think um, for us internet is everything right that's the backbone so and we run a large call center we have about 100 people sitting here serving customers answering their questions whether it's related to their visa or if it's related to the insurance or related to which hotel they so so we receive over 2000 calls in a day right and uh, generally when a customer is calling he needs help right so for us the telephone line is really a very important uh, aspect to serving a customer and uh, so our Uh, telephone lines you know the pri lines is actually tata is the service provider and since it's the backbone i think that's why we chose tata because i mean not only the it's the, the, the most trusted brand but it's been a great partner for us we, i think all three years we've been using them right from the start we engaged with tata and uh, we i mean we moved a couple of location but we made uh, make sure everywhere we go we have the tata infrastructure here so be it the telephone line or the internet i mean internet we need because we need to serve a lot of information you know whether it's our own website to give customer the information or to help him with any booking complete a transaction or its payment gateway so i think internet as well as telephone both tata is a service provider right now wh- whatever you want to do when you go out there are enough vendors who can tell come and come and tell you that you know we could do this for you we could do this for you it's just so the key is about using the right partner you know finding the right solution and second is about integrating it well with your systems you know what is your system so it's it's the right partner and integration if you have a seamless integration and you can automate the whole process then you can give uh, you know you save right and you can give us on the benefit to the customer and customer gets a seamless booking experience 5 7 8 10 years ago uh, if if you if you came to a market like india all the travel was offline right so i mean and i know couple of the largest consolidators in india so 100% of the tickets uh, that this uh, they sold everything had manual intervention every single ticket was sold that had was someone you picked up the phone asked you uh, what your what your flight preferences gave you the options got the details from you on a phone or email and then issued the tickets what we been able to do is we been able to automate this whole thing so just imagine we sell about 2000 domestic air tickets a day and uh, 99% of them is completely automated the customer comes to my website looks for the fare looks for the airline looks for his preferences books the ticket pays me goes away and there is no intervention so now we are talking about companies like us and the bigger companies Who, who do about 15 20 25 000 tickets a day and 95 99% of them is completely automated so technology has helped us automate a lot of the processes so i think that's the key change that we've seen that how we out travel like any other industry been able to use technology to an extent to automate so many of the processes we started selling i think travel started selling railway tickets online then it went to domestic ticket now it's gone to international tickets now holidays are going online and but insurance is online so forex is going online so how technology is able to cut down on our cost well there is a cost of technology but if you look at the scale that you can achieve with technology yeah i think it's worth that investment and i i think a lot of us are seeing that you know benefit i mean just imagine if you uh, talk about 99% of your processes are automated that's a great scenario to be in on that note it's time for a quick break but when we return we get insights into the digital strategy at musafir.com from the vp of it and finally we understand the impact that digital disruption is making on paddle point and musafir.com don't go anywhere Welcome back. You're watching Tata Docomo presents Do Big Ride the Digital Wave powered by CNBC TV 18. Before the break we got an insight into the story behind the success of musafir.com from the CEO Vijay Keshwan. Now let's hear from the VP of IT about the digital strategy that musafir.com has adopted. So mostly the strategy will be revolving around mobile 
because mobile is something which is really taking it up very well. Uh, around 70% of the searches happens through mobile. So, in the transaction and conversation on mobile is increasing. So, we will be talking on that lines. Mo most of the uh, resources or uh, things will be going on mobile front. And there are a few things that we would like in mobile look at personalization, social feedback, uh, deep insights to automations, and uh, looking at uh, increased automation and self service. Let's say today on our website, uh, on a daily, let's say 100K searches happens. So there are 100 users. So if you are, and everybody, if we have been, if you use the big data, we'll be able to give a personalized search and response to them, which is relevant to them. So that's really important. So big data will play and is continue to play a very important role to us. So Tata, we use various uh, suite of products uh, which re revolves from voice and data. Mobile will play an important role. So we're looking at uh, keyboardless uh, booking tool, we, how we can increase the usage of voice experience, which is VX, which is coming up very well. So these are the few technologies we would like to explore. So innovation will be the key driver for us. That was the story of Musafir.com. But with the implementation of innovative technology solutions at the core of these companies' strategies, let's find out how digital disruption has impacted their development and what they predict will be the next big disruption in their industries. Digital disruption is, again, you never know what market you are. If you do not walk with the technology today, tomorrow you may be out of the market. Each and every customer today wants a lower cost, best services, Okay, uh, people, the customers' uh, preferences, choices have changed. So we have to keep uh, uh, we have to keep adapting the uh, pace of the technology and uh, achieve whatever the requirements are. More and more companies uh, are preferring launching their own apps. Okay, which they uh, if they start launching their apps, we can get eliminated because they'll have a direct interface with the customers, the clients. Uh, second big thing is more IVR services which are being prompt. Uh, if you go back to days wherein you had to apply for a checkbook, okay, you have to walk into a branch and apply for a checkbook. Now you can do it at your fingertips without anyone speaking. Okay, everything is done on IVR. So more IVR again would be a problem. Digital disruption has given us an opportunity. I think that's that's why we're here. So many online companies are here. I think. Um, so I think that's the opportunity. But only the uh, on, the only thing you need to be sh uh, careful about in the digital disruption, you need to constantly be innovation or innovating. You know, right? Because um, every year there's something new happening. Whether it's 2G going to 3G, 3G going to 4G, or whether it's small smartphones which is getting better, or or the or the, uh, or the new India, the youth who are in the schools and colleges who are very tech savvy. So I'm saying um, it's about you know. Keeping an eye on the customer, not only the current customer, but the future customer. So I spend a lot of time with kids, you know, kids at the age of 8, 10, 12 years to understand, you know, what they like, what they do, how do they use the iPad, what do they use the iPad for. So I think there's a lot. So the key is to keep innovating. There is no, you, you can't be constant. You know, I think Nokia has seen that, so many companies, you know, the key is to keep constantly evolving while retaining the customer and making sure that the next generation customer. So I think keep an eye on... Uh, your customer and customer behavior and keep keep evolving. According to me, the next big digital disruption is going to be on the social media front. I think there's 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 a lot of uh, there's a lot of traffic there. There's a lot of data there. There's a lot of time being spent by our target customers, potential uh, as well as new. You know, so I think we're all that's the focus area for us right now. Um, along with that, of course, mobile. Mobile is also some some place where. We've already seen that 50 to 50, more than 50% of our technology team, the development team is now focusing on mobile because we see that there's been a big surge in the mobile bookings or mobile surge. So mobile and social, I think, would be, um, that's where we are doing our research on, that's where we're spending our dollars, research dollars on. Videos are playing a very important role. The amount of searches that happens after Google search is YouTube, the searches takes place. So that's one. Then social media is taking up very well in the uh, in the role play. So I would say these are the areas where the digital is playing a big role and the virtual reality that is coming up. So for our business, let's say if I give you an experience of if you want to go to a place, uh, uh, let's say Hawaii, and if I can give you an experience how the Hawaii will look at it virtually, that will also enhance, uh, motivate you to for the selling or going for that place. So virtual reality is really playing a very important role. And I see in the travel business, 
it has a very important part to play. That's all that we have for you on this episode of Tata Docomo Presents Do Big Ride the Digital Wave powered by CNBC TV 18. Don't miss the next episode and the series finale as we learn more about digital implementation from a final set of companies. Until then from the entire team, many thanks for watching. Focus. Ideate. Innovate. Enable.